Hello, this is John Beatty. Today I'd like to show you some Excel VBA code that was written to calculate Ackerman steering in a vehicle setup. Don't know what Ackerman steering is? Let me show you. Ackerman, Ackerman steering was invented in the 19th century by Rudolf Ackerman. One day Rudolf was pulling a cart down the road and he noticed that both of his front turning wheels were parallel with one another and it was very difficult to pull the cart under low speeds. He modified the setup to make the inside tire turn more, that is have a higher angle than the outside tire. And he noticed that this was clearly a better setup and uses less energy uh, when turning at low speeds. So perfect Ackerman steering ultimately is the inside tire having a larger angle than the outside tire and both of their lines bisect at the center of the turning circle as you can see from the picture. Now let's see how this code works. But first I'd like to say that this code is a brute force code written in Excel. There are other methods that we could have used but we did not because Excel is a widely available tool almost to available to practically anyone in the business and or engineering world. So sometimes if you specify high granularity this will run overnight. This will take up to 24 hours to run. Other, other methods include particle swarm optimization we could have used but Excel does not support this. So just FYI this is not built on the best platform but it was built on the most widely available platform which is Excel. So let's get into the code right now. The box that I just highlighted are vehicle characteristics. So this is all vehicle characteristics. For instance, the height of the rack above ground, the wheelbase, how high the upper ball joint is above the ground. These are just your vehicle characteristics that you input. No big deal. Now let's move to this gray box here. This specifies how you want your steering arms and your racks to move. So clearly you can see we want our steering arm angles to go from negative 90 to negative 60. So about 30 degrees. And we want to do that in one degree increments. So we could specify this at two or five degrees when we usually start when we don't know uh, where an optimal location is, we'll increase this to, let's just say, 5 degrees. So, after we've input all our granularity parameters and our movement parameters, we'll go and define our objective function. And our objective function right now is that we want a left wheel angle that is between 54 and 60 degrees with an Ackerman error between negative 1 to positive 0.5. And the same thing for the right wheel. We want our low target to be 27 degrees and our high target to be 40 degrees. Now, that's all you have to input. Everything else is taken care of. And all solutions that have a dead center condition, that is, this is bad, that is, <laughs> if there is a dead center condition, your steering wheel will lock up and you'll be in a perpetual turn forever because it cannot come back from that dead center position. So all we have to do is go to increment all and you can clearly see this stepping the calculations as it's running and it does encounter dead positions quite frequently. Okay it seems like we found a solution every time a solution is found it saves the file as a, new, as a new worksheet in Excel and we can go down and see that yes indeed our left wheel angle is within our target range and our right wheel angle is within our target range and our error is within our target range negative 0.67 percent and ultimately it put, puts out our turning diameter which is 18 point seven six feet not too bad this is a good setup now let's just take a look under the hood here 
Obviously, there's a lot of silver teams running here. Minimum steering arm angle. This iterates from the maximum to minimum angle. This is just an indication of the brute force routine that I spoke about. This routine iterates the steering arm until it meets the targets or doesn't meet the targets. And iterate all was the routine that runs everything. It takes everything to an account. Now obviously I'm not showing you the other subroutines that are behind the scenes that calculate uh, the trigonometric functions, but that is for another time. So if you want to perform any optimization, brute force optimization in Excel, it certainly is possible. It's not the most elegant method. Particle swarm and non other non-exhaustive methods and other software packages work very well. But Excel is still robust and is still powerful enough to do these types of calculations and optimization routines. So if you're ever in the need to do something, Excel VBA is your answer. Thank you.